Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sanjay Dandun, Senior Instructor of Tomorrow's Emergency Medicine and Critical Care, Bangladesh. Today I am here to give a glimpse about the exam um, conducting system. So MRCM exam has three parts. Most of us already know about it. Uh, among them, uh, first two parts are conducted by online at Pearson View Center. Most of us really have some confusions, anxiety regarding this process. Today, I'll try to help you with some exam facts and demo on the conducting system. So first of all, how will you book your seat in the Pearson View Center? After making the payment to the RCM, you'll get an email from them to book your center at Pearson. Uh, by given uh, link, uh, you will book your center in the Pearson and Pearson will reply you back with your exam name, your, exam, your name, your ID, date, time, and the name of the allocated center. It will happen about one month uh, prior to your exam. Two to three days uh, prior to your exam, you will get the same mail as a reminder. Mm, I will suggest you to make a uh, printout copy of this email. Sometimes some centers ask to show the hard copy. Not necessarily, but uh, may ask. So after um, making this, your um, wh uh, which ID should you bring to the exam hall? The national ID card or passport? Uh, these are the um, uh, mostly accepted ideas in the exam centers. Some centers sometimes ask to uh, show you both of the IDs. Uh, but RCM website has already clearly mentioned that they will accept either national ID card or passport. So if you don't have the passport, you don't need to be penny. You can give exam. You uh, just give them the reference that uh, RCM website has mentioned that I have to have only one type of ID. If your exam center ask both of that, okay. In fair, uh, past events, um, a few bad experience has been happened that uh, suddenly allocated center has canceled their exam, and they didn't even bother to inform the candidates or some centers informed prior to the exam day and that was really a uh, hazardous condition for all of the candidates so to avoid this thing um, i would like to suggest you to uh, call the exam center just make a phone call and ask them uh, to uh, that uh, your exam with your exam name and your name that the exam is, is still scheduled or not. Like um, suppose your exam is on next uh, 27th January, uh, the exam time is uh, 10 a.m. Uh, you make a phone call and ask them, I have exam uh, on 27th of January at uh, 10 a.m. That is MRCM primary. Is it still scheduled or not? If they give you the clearance, that's well and good. If the schedule has been canceled by the allocated center, then you have to take some measures. You have to call the Pearson View Center. The Pearson View Center's uh, number will be shown in the uh, website of the Pearson. Okay. Okay. Now, um, these are the things. Yeah, these are, this is really your responsibility to. Um, make sure that your exam is still scheduled or not. If I say, what is uh, your do's and do's on exam? As I, I, I have already uh, mentioned some things that uh, IDs and your uh, uh, confirmation of the schedule, these are the exam policies. You must review the exam policies and uh, your IDs, that is the um, national ID card or passport should be ready with you um, uh, before the exam night you should go through it thoroughly that uh, all are okay or not and uh, keep it ready so that in the morning you don't have to be in any rush 
you can take your study materials with you the exam center won't allow it so please don't bring them with you and don't make any extra pressure over you okay um, any jewelry like uh, earrings uh, chain then um, uh, br uh, bracelet or lockets nothing is allowed in the exam center so don't wear these things and uh, smart watch or normal watch whatever it is uh, totally prohibited any electronic devices totally prohibited i would like to suggest you to reach your exam center as early as possible you can at least 45 minutes to one hour prior to the exam because uh, that will be a new circumstances for you that will uh, the new surroundings uh, might make you puzzled there will be some paperwork uh, not very much uh, complicated but the paperwork are like uh, all the instructions and rules will be written there uh, regarding exams and examinees you have to read them thoroughly and uh, then sign on the paper okay so uh, this will time consuming and uh, you will uh, you, as uh, there is a exam tension so everything will make you puzzle so do, don't be late don't be late just uh, 45 minute to one hour prior your exam should be um, you should be there and uh, of course before going to exam hall you must take a good meal um, so that you don't make any um, you don't face any hypoglycemia okay okay after reaching the exam center uh, you will be taken to the exam premises there will be uh, your id will be allowed with you nothing else your personal belongings uh, might be your purse your water bottles or uh, if you take some sheets with you then um, reading sheets with you then um, that will be kept in a uh, personal locker that will be provided by the elevator center after uh, taking you to the exam premises they will take your picture they will take an electronic signature um with due respect those who do hijabs they may ask to show you the ears and please don't feel offended because this is a part of your exam uh, they will check for ear devices uh, before entering the exam room uh, you have to ask them to give you a pen and paper uh, for your rough use okay during exam um, for your rough use the pen and paper will be provided uh, by the center the paper is especially is a transparent paper and a marker pen will be provided with it you are allowed to write it over uh, the paper due after starting of your exam not before that no word writing no cut down of the words are allowed the paper uh, you uh, you are given you can use it for the uh, to write your mnemonics or your confused answers or some calculations or whatever um, uh, a figure whatever you need to but after starting of exam okay after taking the seat seat you are not allowed to see on your left right and back your eyes should be on your screen only you are not um, allowed to scratch your legs your ears repeatedly they will monitor you very cautiously they will monitor you through the cc cameras and uh, see this is an online exam so they have the full rights to monitor us uh, like this way and um, if anything anything they found suspicious they can cancel your precious exam okay so um, a proctor will be there if you need any assistance you just raise your hand in front of the webcam the proctor will come and help you you don't need to um, call them by name or uh, you know don't need to look here and there just raise your hand in front of the webcam okay 
Now I'm going to show you the demo screen, how the exam screen will look like. Okay, let me show you. Here is the screen. See the demo screen. Uh, here is the demo screen. So uh, in our exam, here, here it will be written the exam name. That is the MRCM primary or MRCM SBF, whatever it is. Then your name will be written here. After that, the date will be written here. Okay. And here, the it will be written that uh, RCM and MRCM primary or MRCM SBA that is consists of 180 marks. Each uh, question carries one mark and um, a total timing is 180 minute. In case of SBA, it will be written that part A and uh, then um, you know, when you enter into the part B, then it will be written the part B, okay? So I'm going to click the next. Before going to next, I'm telling you another thing that suppose your exam is scheduled at 10 a.m. but it's now 10 5, 10 10 or whatever. It's being delayed for some reason. Don't be panic. Your 180 minute will be counted after clicking this next or submit what is whatever written here. Not before that. So clicking the next, your 180 minute started to be counted. Okay, in our exam, here highlights try to only there. There will be the scratch pad. The scratch pad is nothing. It's like the rough use paper. You can uh, write your confusions like uh, is it green or yellow? That means uh, the confusion uh, question number one in between B and D, okay? So write it down, come later, and you will, uh, when you need to review, you'll make your confusions clear. After a scratch pad, there will be a calculator. Uh, you can use that calculator for your calculations. Here, the time will be counted. The time will be counted uh, from reversely, that is from only 80 minute to zero. And the question number one to 14, we'll, we'll get one to 180. And here is the flag mark. That is the flag mark. That means I have selected the answer A, that is blue. But um, the question has some twist or uh, the, the, I am thinking uh, it might be yellow. Is it yellow? Okay, don't waste your time here. Just make it flag mark and go to next. When you make the flag mark, after completion of the exam, you can review the flag marks uh, easily. Okay, I, I, I will show you that. Okay, I'm going to next. Here, another thing. Our questions will be uh, written here. The case will be given and uh, then this pop up that is the periodic table showing that will uh, be written image. In our exam, it will be written image. There might be image one, image two, image three. Okay, so in uh, there will be x-ray, CT scan, in blood pictures, ABGs, whatever it is, that will be uh, as a um, um, attached document that will be given here. You have to go through it. Now, suppose here is two images, image one, image two. You have seen the image one, but didn't pay any attention to the image two. When you want to close that um, box, there will be a reminder that you have not viewed the image two. This is really a nice uh, system and uh, so that you won't miss anything. Okay, now after seeing the image, uh, suppose I have choose the answer is B. Okay, now I'm going to press the next. See, another thing. First of all, uh, this pop-up will come if you don't go through the uh, questions thoroughly. 
I have not viewed the entire screen. That's why they are giving reminder. The same way, if I don't um, choose the answer, in our exam, there will be a reminder that you have not select the answer. Okay, so you have no option to make the question empty. If you have option, still don't make anything empty. Just make it a, a answer, make it a flag. If, you, if there is any confusion, make a flag and go to the next. In uh, Sometimes we see some questions which we have not seen any time or totally uh, unfamiliar to us. Don't waste your time. If you don't know what is the topic, you don't know the answer. There is no uh, point to waste your time there. Just proceed with cool head. That uh, five to six questions will be there like that, totally unknown. Uh, that will not make any difference for the pass and fail. I'm just proceeding. You will uh, select answer and then go to next. I'm just proceeding to show you. To show you. Okay. Again. In exam hall, it's a totally a new experience for most of us. Uh, don't be panic. I have not used a computer before. I'm not very familiar to computer. Uh, these, these are really uh, totally bullshit because uh, it won't, um, it's, it's really simple. It's really simple. There, there is a help, um, a help, helping people. There will be um, proctors and the exam system I'm showing you that will be helpful for you. This is really um, nothing, actually nothing. Just focus on your uh, questions and uh, read it carefully, mindfully. In cool head, select the answer and proceed. The exam system, the exam itself is getting tough day by day. So you have to be very cautious. You have to be very cautious about your answers. Answers are so uh, similar. So choose your answer wisely. Okay. Okay. One next. Okay. After completion of 180 questions, a page will come like this. That will contain 1 to 180, okay? And as I have mentioned that as you have flagged the questions, the uh, confused questions, see, review all and review mark. There will be no review in computer. Review mark and review all. You have no... Uh, uh, point of uh, point to review all. You see, you don't get the time, so you should review the mark only. Either you go like this, okay, and okay. Uh, my uh, confusion was um, was it blue or yellow? No, I'm thinking the answer was I have given that is uh, right, that is blue. Then um, delete the black mark and proceed to next. Okay, the, that was another flat mark. Okay, so um, I'm thinking, oh, it's not a hydrogen, it will be magnesium. Okay, and uh, potassium. Okay, okay. Um, there will be only one option for us. And here, here is the options for three. Okay, I'm going next. See, the page again came. The last question, what I have made, I have made the answer, but I didn't remove the flat mark. It won't affect my exam. Uh, sometimes uh, questions are arise that if I forgot to delete the flag mark, what will happen? Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Your marked answer will be counted. Sometimes uh, asked that uh, I uh, failed to uh, review the flag mark uh, due to shortness of time or anything. Uh, what will happen? No, nothing. The answer you have selected first that will be counted as your answer, okay? So I try to give you the essence of the <laughs> exam hall. I, I hope and um, 
pray that you will succeed after seeing this actually exam hall is like a uh, is like a horror film to all of us but uh, uh, be cool be uh, tension free and just uh, give your best and the rest will be taken care of by the almighty so i as i have uh, told you that i try to make you the um, make you comfortable with the exam hall so and go through it carefully um it it may help you and uh, i wish you all of uh, the examinee the an excellent fearless exam and love and prayer from our institute tomorrow's emergency medicine and critical care thank you